Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be going over RAID. RAID is a collection of disks that uses software or hardware to combine them into one big pool of storage, like LVM. The difference in between the two, LVM and uh, RAID, is going to be that you can actually have redundancy with RAID. Where LVM, you're going to be combining disks together to make one larger disk. In a RAID setup, you can actually have redundancy where you can, if one uh, drive fails, um, you can still have all your data or you can also have faster speeds or uh, a combination of the two. Now we're going to go over the first RAID setup, which is RAID 0. RAID 0 has a striped array, which means that every time that you write to this array, you're going to get around dual reads and dual writes. So it's going to be writing on both drive simultaneously giving you twice the performance uh, around twice you're going to always get a little bit left uh, uh, because of sarf, uh, software or hardware limitations now the big bad part with raid zero and why not a lot of people use it is because if you have one drive fail all your data is corrupted and obviously if you have more than one drive then your chances of a drive failing goes up tremendously one good thing with raid zero you will end up with all the storage of the disks now raid one is a little bit more popular just for the reason that it's very secure so this is going to be a mirror array which means that every time you write to one it's going to have a direct copy of your drive on the other drive some of the bad parts are that you will not get faster speeds with raid one and your storage will be cut in half so that's something to keep in mind but if you have one drive that fails you're going to have all your data and one more thing to note raid one and raid zero you can get away with only having two discs at least at a minimum yet you can have more than that but you at least need two now for raid five this is one of the more popular raid arrays and a key note is you are going to need three drives now instead of two now raid has a combination of both raid zero and raid one it's a little bit faster so you're going to have a little bit better writes and reads because it is a somewhat striped array and you can get away with losing one more drive because it is somewhat a mirror array. And with the RAID 5, you're going to only end up with two thirds of your storage. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now this is the command that we're going to be using, MDADM. And this is actually going to be how we make a software RAID array inside of Linux. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And here's some of the flags that we're actually going to be using. All right, let's get into the terminal. Okay, to start out with, you can see I have SDA and I put a partition on SDA, SDB, and they're both 10 gigs. This is one thing that you definitely want to keep in mind, which is that you do want to partition a little bit less than what your full drive size is whenever you're making a Linux RAID. The reason is, is because every drive is going to have a little bit different size. So you want to make sure that you partition it to an exact amount so that you don't run into problems whenever you try to use MDADM to make your Linux RAID. Now I'm going to show you how to partition the last one here. You can see these other ones, I partition them each to 10 gigs just for this example. You can obviously do more. But we're going to do the same thing with SDC. So you're just going to do sudo fdisk dev sdc or uh, whatever drive that you're trying to partition. Once you're inside of here, you can use M to actually list all this out, but I know all these. So first we're gonna make a GPT partition, press G, enter. Now we're gonna make a new partition, N. Okay, just hit enter again, enter again. These can stay the same. Now I'm gonna make a 10 gig partition here. So I'm just gonna put plus 10 and capital G. Yeah, and I'm gonna put a capital Y to confirm that. And now, this is optional after this, but this is going to help your kernel inside of your Linux box to actually know what this drive is meant to be used for. So, I'm just going to put T. Now, you can list all these out, but I'm going to make it sweet and short. I already know what this is. It's going to be FD, and this is going to be for the Linux RAID. Okay, hit enter, and now I'm going to write to it. LSBLK, and you can see that we have a SDC1, which is 10 gigs now. Now to actually create the RAID array with MDADM, we're just going to put sudo MDADM dash dash create dash dash verbose. And obviously this is verbose, so this is just showing what's going on while it's running. MD0. And we're going to make the, you can put your level in here. I'm going to make this a RAID 5 array. So I'm going to put a 5 there. And put RAID devices. 
and you're going to put the number of devices right inside of here. We're going to put three devices. And now we're going to just list out the devices. So dev SDA1 and dev SDB1 and dev SDC1. And then we can hit enter. Now uh, you can see I have a syntax error right here. Okay, just rates that, then we can hit enter. Okay, it's making it now. Now it's actually in the process of making it, even though it's done. So we can just do a proc MD stat to see what's going on here in our progress. And now we can show MD devices by going ls dev pound or pipe and grep MD. And we can see our device is MD0. Now to save on boot, because if we reboot, this isn't going to save. We can just do a sudo MDADM detail dash scan. Okay. And we're just going to redirect that into etc MDADM MDADM.conf. Oof, got to switch my user here. Okay, we're just going to take it. Okay, let's check it out. Now you can see every single one of these devices have a MD0 underneath each of the partitions. Now you can see that we actually have our RAID 5 array with all three of these devices. And we have a total storage of 20 gigs because this was a 30 gig, uh, 10 gigs inside of each partition. And like I said, it's going to take away one third of your total storage for redundancy. If one of these drives fail, you will be able to recover all of, all of your data. Now we are going to have to put a file system on. So we're just going to do like you would any other partition. You're going to do a sudo mkfs.ext4 so, or whatever part, uh, whatever file system you want to put on there. I'm just putting an ext4 so we can put dev and md0. So this is going to be our RAID array. Hit enter. Yes. Okay, guys, I had to skip that for a minute. It was taking too long. Now, if you want to mount these drives in a RAID array, you're going to have to do like you would a normal partition or file system that you'd be mounting. You're going to have to put it inside of FDisk, and I will show you guys how to do that. So we'll start out with doing LSBLK. So you can see we got that there, and we could do a BLK ID. And you can see our UUID shows up just like a partition, and we could take this. Okay, and it is an ext4 type, so we can first of all make a file. So let's go CD, MNT, and you can mount this anywhere. LS, touch, okay, let's do a sudo, MKDIR, and MD0, LS, LS dash LA. And we're going to just change the uh, per owner of this. Chun, B R A R D N Nix, D, and MD0. Okay, you can see now that we're, that we're the owner. So sudo nano etc fstab, and we could just put our information right inside of here. Put a little note md0 g. Put our UUID number here. Put where we're mounting this mnt. MD0, put our uh, file system, ext4, and we'll just put a zero and a zero. Control X, yes, enter, sudo mount dash A. Oop, messed something up. what happens whenever you try to get too quick. Save that again. Okay, now it's mounting it. Okay, guys, I figured it out. It just didn't update up here. This is actually a different RAID array. It's right down here. You can see these are all our partitions, and this is our MD0 right here. So I'm just going to put that in there real quick.
Okay, now that it's mounted, LSBLK. And you can actually see that our RAID array is mounted on uh, mount and MD0. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys are using some RAID arrays and having that extra security. Appreciate you guys watching and peace.